What would you want to go outside for? It's way too hot. Cool off from the summer heat with some brand new wrestling action figures. I'm here to unbox Jazzwares AEW Unmatched Series 4. Let's do it. Everybody can relax, I found MJF. He's not missing anymore because he's in AEW Unmatched Series 4. A brand new MJF, way more accuracy. Uh, let's open it right now. Let's take a look at the packaging first though. As you know, unmatched packaging. Some silver lining right here on the back. MJF, Tully, excellent. Opening it up. Now this has to be MJF's uh, you know, fight with Tony Khan, who is still, yeah, he gets on TV and he comes out and talks to the crowd, but Tony Khan's still like a little bit of a mystical persona for the public. So for MJF to be fighting with him so publicly is one of the realest wrestling storylines we've had in a long time because no one can really tell. How pissed is MJF? We'll find out eventually. There's an AEW microphone so MJF can cut a pipe bomb of his own. Some interchangeable MJF hands with ring, of course. And let's check out this MJF figure itself. A hell of an improvement over the last MJF wrestling action figure. Now, if you've been waiting because you weren't satisfied uh, with the original Jazzwares AEW MJF outings, this one's definitely for you. You can see uh, a whole new level of accuracy on his head sculpt here. Uh, even the, um, check that out, even even his scarf here, great material, it's all, it, it, it's a lot more like a real scarf than the last one. It's much thicker, and uh, it's, it's I, I think, uh, one of the better soft good wrestling accessories we've seen in a really long time. We'll just take that strap off there and give you a look at it. Check that out. It's almost like you could wear it for real. You know MJF has that nice wavy haircut, and it's in full effect here. You can see that fade all the way around. Paint it on real nice. We have the head articulation here as well. We've talked about that in past episodes. Uh, this MJF has it. Accurate arm tattoo, ring, elbow pad with MJF on it. Some sweet purple, white, and gold MJF lion trunks. It's a little hard to see the exact detail of the shine there. I think that gives you a better look. But as you can see, MJF has one of the nicest uh, simple trunk designs, in my opinion, in all of professional wrestling. Just looks really good and reflects the way that he carries himself, for sure. Check out his white knee pads and black lace boots. Maxwell Jacob Friedman, where are you? Come back, we hardly knew ye. Gotta go next with one of the standouts in this set, Jade Cargill in AEW Unmatched Series 4. This is for sure a million dollar figure for a million dollar talent. You know. Jade looks like a million bucks every time she comes to the ring, and her wrestling action figure for sure is no different. I would go as far as to say uh, this is one of the best female action figures. You see some good ones across, uh, let's say, the wrestling action figure world, but this Jade, really excellent. And Jade Cargo, million bucks, man. What else is there to be said? Uh, according to her Twitter feed, there's a lot of things to be said from a lot of you. She's also very tall. I'm a pretty tall guy, and Jade, uh, with her those, those big heels that she wears, she's even taller than me, so... For those of you that are scared of that sort of thing, don't be scared. Or be scared. Couple of closed fist accessories for Jade Cargill. And check out the Jade Cargill wrestling action figure. Now, seeing it on camera, in my opinion, doesn't really do it justice compared to seeing it in person. This is a perfectly captured likeness. The physique is there. Her facial expression, that platinum hair, just everything about this is as accurate as it gets. It's unbelievable. This is an unbelievable representation of Jade Cargo here. Uh, like I said, we've seen some good, uh, really great representations of female wrestling action figures over the years, uh, especially recently, but this one, in my opinion, I, I, I can't go ahead and say that it tops them all. Uh, you know, for me personally, it might, but. It's definitely up there in, uh, in the upper echelon for sure, like a top five. So if you're a Jade Cargill fan, this figure is definitely for you. You can see the print on her uh, ring top and ring trunks matching. A lot of details here. Details, like I said, in the physique. There's a, those abs right there, the, the leg muscles. They didn't shy away from making sure she looks as strong in her wrestling figure as she does in real life. 
those jade knee pads right there with the symbols right in the front in silver. And of course some lace boots, you know I love those lace boots. And those same jade symbols on the side. See that? This is a perfect Jade Cargill for your collection. How would you like to say hi to an old AEW friend? Cody Rhodes here in AEW Unmatched Series 4. All suited up, ready to cut a nice press conference promo. You know, we wish him well in his future endeavors. And his future endeavors were certainly quite exciting for many of us. Add some grease to the uh, bolts of the forbidden door, right? We'll say. And it's cool to still get a Cody Rhodes AEW action figure while you wait for the next iteration of Cody Rhodes. Especially one that's made as well as this. A couple of closed fists for Cody Rhodes. Interchangeable, of course. Nice cackling, smiling head sculpt. You can do a lot of work with that while you wait for official releases, right? Now here's Cody Rhodes in his press conference suit jacket. You can see it's a long jacket with some buttons in the front here. When you open it up and take a look, you can see his vest on the inside. Uh, definitely a great look for Cody here, especially if you're into setting up your figures to cut promos. We have an AEW microphone, of course, which comes uh, strapped into his hand to make sure that you know he's got the, the gift of gab here. You look on the back, additional buttons for the coat. Uh, it goes all the way down. He does like to wear those long jackets, like we said. Uh, blue pants, a nice blue color scheme. Cody is a sharp dressed guy, no doubt about that. This is a sharp, a well dressed man here. Uh, all the way down to his chonclas, right? Just kidding. Those are, I think those are like uh, Bochu boy shoes. They're like loafers. So not, not penny loafers, loafers, just straight up loafers. Still cool. Still styling, profiling Mr. Cody Rhodes, the American Nightmare. Next up, of course, we have a nice classic figure in this set. The Corazon de Leon, Chris Jericho. Way back from his time in Mexico. You can see an old school photo of him right here. Of course, his uh, Corazon de Leon signature with a star is really cool. It's nice that uh, Jazzwares and AEW are inserting some uh, old school looks into the line. And it's uh, happening right here with Chris Jericho. Pretty sweet. Uh, as you can see, Luminary's collection has a little bit different uh, coloring on the packaging. Uh, but definitely worth cracking open, especially if you're a collector of classic styles. And I certainly am. And how can you hate a guy who everybody loves to sing his theme song on the way to the ring? You can't really. That's Chris Jericho. Even an old school version. Dope figure here, right? Great likeness. Look at the long blonde hair and that smiling face. He really looked like a uh, you know a little a little bit of a teen heartthrob back in the day. Nice jacket. Uh, not soft goods. We've got uh, some some soft malleable plastic here. Uh, you can see the tassels are also this kind of molded plastic right here. And the jacket, however, is removable. You can see there's some snaps right here in the front. I just popped those open. And you have full art, uh, Jazzwares AEW wrestling action figure articulation, of course. Don't forget the good thing about the way that Jazzwares styles their figures is that if you're having difficulty removing a jacket, parts are uh, interchangeable, right? So no worries about breaking it or snapping it or any of that bad stuff. So here's a look at the jacket not on the figure, as you can see. Great detail. Looks cool, especially for an old school style jacket. Check out this heartthrob, right? Look at this old school version of Mr. Chris Jericho. Like we said, with the long blonde hair, a great physique back then, uh, just, making everybody go crazy in Mexico, learning an all new style. If you've ever read Jericho's book, he talks about this uh, at length. So I encourage anybody out there that is a wrestling fan that likes to read books, hopefully there are many of you, go out and read Chris Jericho's book because he'll talk uh, directly about uh, some stories about uh, behind the look for this wrestling action figure. You can see some detail on his hand right there, black wrist tape. The Leon short tights that he has here and also some molded tassels for that on his leg here to go with the design. There's a, a dope gold lion on the side right there. Uh, you can see that gold trim on the other side, the word lion right here and the black boots and black knee pads. The funny thing is Jericho's never really changed these, right? Like 
These are very similar to his Y2J and later looks in his career with uh, the text on the, I, you know, he's moved the text to the side, I would say, in some of his later looks, but you can see the style back then. He already kind of had it all in mind and, and he stayed consistent over the years. He's changed it up, but he never forgot where he came from, right? So you see Lion right here, Lion right here. Great classic Luminaries figure. You heard I like to drink beer? I heard this guy likes to drink a lot of beer. Hangman Adam Page right here with a dope cowboy street clothes look. Excellent. We love those street clothes looks, especially when there's a lot of variety for them, right? It's one thing if it's just the same molded suit or molded shirt over and over again, but this is completely different. This is a, a, a version of Hangman Adam Page that we otherwise wouldn't necessarily see. So dope button down shirt on this dude with his, with his gold locks and Plenty of things to drink included, so we're gonna crack this open right now. Hangman Adam Page has had a run with the AEW World Heavyweight Championship. I'm, I'm sure at the time this video is being shot, uh, he'll get another opportunity. People had mixed feelings on his last run. We'll see. You know, you, you want to make sure a guy like this is is making a splash, especially since so many of you love those AEW originals and. I think, just look at that smile. It's not impossible that he can come back and do it all over again. They did not mess around, including the drinks here. You have three different tall boys. You have this nice uh, IPA right here. You know, he drinks them once in a while. You have a, uh, a sweet, delicious lager right here. Check that tall boy out. That looks good. Great detail on the cans and the, and the tabs on top. And then you have, uh, you know, a classic, just like the beer that you, uh, gulp down with your friends here in the backyard when it's uh, way too hot out in the summertime. They're all three here, right? Plenty of beer for Hangman Adam Page. It doesn't stop there. You also have a, a nice clear, uh, clear cup here. So whatever, if he wants to go beyond beer, fill it up with something a little more intense, right? Uh, you can do that with this cup right here. With all that variety, of course, you'll need an open hand, uh, another one to fit all these different styles within. And you can't go wrong with Hangman Adam Page. Right here, all smiles, a nice finger gun going there for the cowboy. Pow, pow, of course. You have the nice molded button-down shirt with the collars right here, the white designs here, great style. You can see that on the back here. Don't forget it's also on the sleeves. And in his other hand, wrapped with another one of those great, great usage of in this set of the, uh, you know, the clear band wraps. Uh, a nice, another nice clear cup right here. This one squished a little bit more, but a little bit harder of a plastic than what you might expect. But it works because it fits in his hand really well. And, you know, he's just ready to have some drinks. That's what I think. You have his cowboy belt buckle right here. Uh, those nice cowboy blue jeans all the way down to pair of uh, studded cowboy boots, right? You know the hangman Adam Page is a cowboy and this figure proves it. Last but not least, right? The triumphant return to the professional wrestling ring of CM Punk. This is the first wrestling action figure we've had of Punk likely in what, seven or eight years? So it's been a really long time and it's his debut match versus Darby Allen from All Out. And he has those long boys as he called them, the long tights right here. And a lot of people were a little concerned about that. Uh, you know, the chase figure in this set is short trunks, which is what he's kind of settled on wearing ever since he's been back. But uh, he really likes these long tights. It's a great return look for him. And I think this figure turned out, uh, in my opinion, uh, at least top to bottom, on par with the chase, if not better. I don't know what your preference is, but this is a pretty unique look for CM Punk that we may never get again, and it, it commemorates his return to pro wrestling in ways that not many other looks can. You never know what could come in the future, but great to see this as a first CM Punk figure release. A pair of open hand accessories with, of course, drug free on the knuckles and the X's on the hand wraps. Classic CM Punk, right? And here's the figure itself. Now, first and foremost, check out this spot on head sculpt. We saw a version of it at uh, AEW Revolution in Florida earlier this year. And I would say the final product has for sure improved based on what we originally saw. Now, knowing that CM Punk has a lot of tattoo work here, you can see the accuracy of it already gets started right here with that tattoo behind the ear. And oh yeah, and he, he has the 
Soft Goods Larry hoodie. Now Larry is his dog. That's Larry right there on the back. Nice picture. Can appreciate a guy who wears a hooded sweatshirt of his own favorite animal. I'm down with that. And this of course is a great soft good, good quality, and absolutely removable. So we'll take this hoodie off right here and have a closer look. How can you go wrong with this? Now, CM Puck dropped some weight classes when he was fighting in the UFC. Uh, he's been running a little bit on the uh, thinner, more muscular side, but with more muscular definition ever since that fight happened. And he looked like that when he came back to pro wrestling. In my opinion, this figure for sure reflects that, right? He's got like the really tight ab muscles here and accurate tattoos without a doubt. Check those out. The dragon in the front, uh, you can see that the G.I. Joe Cobra symbol actually made it on here. That's pretty cool. All the cards, uh, tons of color in here. On the other side, the replacement for the Pepsi tattoo. Uh, a lot of people have mixed feelings about this. They'd rather a big blank spot, but for me, I'll take it. I think this is a good replacement for a Pepsi tattoo. Uh, it really makes the rest of the figure pop for him to have full, uh, fully filled in uh, tattoo sleeves. Uh, there's the aces on the back. You know, we've seen this on, done on, on previous CM Punk figures, and we're seeing it done uh, again here. There's the 13 on the elbow with the spider web. Lots and lots of tattoos for CM Punk, and uh, you can check them out when you grab your own, right? Or uh, just take a closer look at this video to cover them all, because I'm sure I missed a couple, but definitely cool to see. You have the white hand wraps right here with the X on the, on the, um, on the back of the hand. Uh, same thing on this side as well, and here are the long boys, right? The long tights with those Chicago blue, red, and black. Uh, and here are the and here are the long tights, right? The long boys, as he calls them. Oh, don't forget the straight edge stomach tattoo. And here are the long boys, as he calls them, right? The long tights with the Chicago stars, the blue stripes. Really good look, you know, it's, um, I wouldn't say it's a shame that he didn't stick with his long tights because I want CM Punk to dress how he wants, but it was really cool that first match back with Darby Allen when he got the big win in these tights and this figure for sure celebrates a triumphant return for CM Punk to professional wrestling. No matter what all the naysayers and all the haters say, CM Punk is here and he's ready to fight. Woo! Here we go. This is a hot set for a hot summer. Jazzwares AEW Unmatched Series 4 includes CM Punk making his triumphant return. Corazon de Leon, Chris Jericho, classic luminary style. Cody Rhodes in a suit. On to greener pastures for him, but you know, he's an AEW original one way or the other. MIA MJF, we'll call him regular MJF when he shows up again. Jade Cargill with a million dollar figure for a million dollar talent, and Hangman Adam Page taking some big drinks for a big guy. Jazz wears AEW Unmatched Series 4. Really dope and a great set, and I'm excited for everybody to get their hands on it. These are all, all the pre-orders for these at the time of the publish of this video have started shipping at Ringside Collectibles, so you should have these in your hands very shortly if you pre-ordered them. Uh, if not, you don't want them to run out, so make sure you check out Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Get your hands on AEW Unmatched Series 4, the Unrivaled sets, uh, Ringside Collectibles exclusives. All the goods are Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Rings, accessories, figures, we got it all. Go to WrestlingFigures.com and make it all about wrestling figures.